Hey guys. My name is Krista Coupons. We love to coupon and penny shop at Dollar General. That's what we do, girl. So in this video, I'm going to give you the Dollar General penny list for August 21st, 2018. Can confirm this is the actual list that the Dollar General employees got. Um, so what I'm going to do is give you a list, a printable list <clears throat> of the items with the last four numbers of the item UPC. Um, most of these are like food items, candy type items. Um, and then we're going to do it a little bit different this week. I'm going to give you the list and then I'm going to do a video um, or at least if I can find the items, I'm going to then do a video showing you exactly what the items look like so you know what to look for when you go in store come Tuesday morning. It's important to remember that sometimes the penny list can be wrong. The way we get the penny list is it is leaked by the Dollar General employees. Um, so, it, you know, it's not like Dollar General gives us this penny list themselves. It is leaked by the Dollar General employees. So, keep that in mind. I did officially see the memo that says the date and all of that. I never post a list unless I see it on the actual Dollar General memo. And sometimes that's where um, people go wrong when they try to make penny shopping videos is they won't see the list. It's just kind of hearsay. And then uh, it, it's, it's, it can be wrong. But sometimes they will put these items on the list and for for whatever reason they don't penny like they should or they'll penny in some areas and not in others um, the only way we know for sure that this is going to be a penny is to come Tuesday morning when we get you know into the store and we purchase these items either they ring up for a penny or they don't and then we know okay so keep that in mind penny shopping is a secret you cannot go into the store and ask the dollar general please where the penny items are if they have any penny sales anything like that it is a secret the first and only rule in penny shopping is that it's a secret a lot of the times people make a mistake by going in and they're like oh my friend works at dollar general so i talked to him about penny items and they're going to help me find penny items but really these are items that the dollar general employees were supposed to move off the sales floor they really don't want to help you find them and you might not realize that you think that's your friend and that they're going to help you and they really are only going to sabotage you so keep that in mind on my website poweredbycoupons.com if you go to how to penny shop at Dollar General. I have a beginner's guide to penny shopping. I have live in-store videos where I was penny shopping to show you kind of the process. There are videos what to do if it goes wrong and the employees won't sell you the penny items. I have tons of information on my website. In the Dollar General employee handbook, it does say that the Dollar General employees are to sell you the penny items as long as the penny items are on the Dollar General sales floor. I also have a copy of that policy on my website which is poweredbycoupons.com again i'm gonna try to make a video later in the week with the pictures of the penny items later in the week oh with... sh 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 shut up krista okay now i'm gonna give you this little list so i did put it on a printable document it's also on my website and i'm gonna put the link to the google doc in the chat you guys can click on that and then go to the printable doc and print it off if you'd like or give the video a thumbs up before you go get that list though please and um then again later we'll make a video of the actual pictures of the items make sure you give the video a thumbs up please the dollar general employees are supposed to get the list um so they may not be following me uh per se I literally get the list from a Dollar General employee. That's how we get the list. So they're supposed to get it. Now, sometimes the Dollar General employees will comment on my videos. Like as long as I've worked at Dollar General, we've never gotten a penny list. Um, and so if you live in an area where they've never gotten a penny list, that's probably really good for you. Sometimes, um, like I went to my store a few weeks ago and I talked to the manager, obviously, of that store. They know I do YouTube videos. A lot of them watch me. A lot of them know I make penny shopping videos. And the manager said to me, oh gosh, I forgot to pull the penny items. And this was Wednesday. So, you know, if it's really luck 
and it also depends on whether or not other people are penny shopping in your area. If you live in the same area as me, you better get to the store Tuesday morning at 8 p.m. as soon as a.m. 8 a.m. as soon as they open up the doors because I'm going to be there. You know what I mean? Um, and it it is it has hurt me posting the list on my YouTube channel because there are like six people who live in my area who watch my videos and so I'm losing out on penny items because I'm telling them what the penny items are. Um, but the reason I'm okay with that is because, and I'm just being honest here, I'm not being cocky, um, I know that I'm willing to uh, go search for them and I know I have a lot of experience searching for penny items, so chances are, you know, I'm still going to be successful at finding penny items. And that's really the thing. It's like couponing, you know. If you kind of just start learning to coupon and you don't really know what you're doing, the more, the longer you do it, the more experience you have, the better you're going to be at it. Penny shopping is the exact same way. And I said that in that video, uh, Beginner's Guide to Penny Shopping. And it is so true because the more information you have about it, the more you're going to be able to find items. So if you are one of those people who are just watching like the penny list videos and you didn't do any back research and you know nothing about penny shopping other than what I tell you in a penny list video, if you really took the time um, to go watch the older videos like the Beginner's Guide to Penny Shopping, what to do if things go wrong, all of those things, it will help you find penny items. And I'm not just saying that for self-promotion, obviously. Um, it's true. It really is. So make sure you go watch those. So let's talk about these items here before we end this video. I don't usually put the whole UPC on the list, and I'll tell you why. <coughs> First of all, I think I'm getting carpal tunnel because <clears throat> my wrist hurts when I type stuff out. I've typed this list, and I was like, oh. But besides that... <clears throat> I personally, now when I when I make the videos to show you guys the items that are on the penny list, I always make sure the uh, UPC matches and if it doesn't, I tell you guys. Um, but otherwise, if I'm just penny shopping for myself and I'm not concerned about you guys, I completely ignore the UPCs. I don't even take them into consideration, completely ignore them. Um, and the reason is, in my experience getting the Dollar General penny list, a lot of the times the UPCs are wrong. So here on this list we have Hershey Layer Cookie Vanilla Peg 2.8 ounce. Chances are if you go in Dollar General and you find the Hershey's Layer Cookie Vanilla Peg 2.8 ounce, Peg is um, a peg bag means that it has like a hole in it, like a hole in the top of the bag where they can hang it on the peg. Okay, so people always ask me what a peg is. That's what a that's what the peg means. But chances are, if you go in store and you find Hershey uh, Layer Cookie Vanilla Peg 2.8 ounce, regardless of the barcode, 99.9% .9 of the time it's going to be a penny, right? Just look for those very specific items. These are discontinued items. So the chances are, you know, they're not going to come out with a new peg bag with a different barcode. That's why I don't pay attention to the barcode, okay? Now, if you do go in Dollar General, and let's say you find Hershey Layer Cookie Caramel Peg Bag, 2.8 ounce, it's probably not going to be a penny. Okay, you have to pay attention to details. Details are very important in penny shopping. It needs to be the vanilla 2.8 ounce bag, okay? Um, the next item, whatever these sweet smiles are, I don't, I'm not sure what they are. I'm going to go look for these items in store and like take pictures and stuff of them for you if I can find them. Um, but whatever sweet smiles are, there's a lot of them on this list. So we got sweet smiles pretzel yogurt five ounce sweet smiles uh, chocolate bites peanut butter filled dark 4.25 ounce sweet um, I'm not sure what SWSM stands for I have to do a lot of work trying to figure out what these items are because I don't I have not a clue SWSM sweet is it sweet smiles maybe <gasps> maybe it is 
maybe like a fruit snack, not sure. Maybe um, because there's more Sweet Smiles uh, Barrels Root Beer, Sweet Smiles Mint, Sweet Smiles Gummy Bear, see? Sweet Smiles Candy Gummer, Gummy, Gummy Sour Bag 3.17 ounce. See, if you, regardless of the UPC, if you go in Dollar General and you find Sweet Smiles Candy Gummy Sour B-U-R-G, what would that stand for? Hell if I know. Um, 3.17 ounce, chances are it's going to be a penny, right? And I love when they have the, you guys, if you're looking at the penny list that I put in the chat for you or on my website, uh, poweredbycoupons.com, if you look at this penny list, there's a lot of D0130. What that is, um, it'll basically be usually a number you see how this number is down beneath the barcode usually it'll be a number near the barcode and it'll be a very good indication of whether or not that item is a penny so it even if the barcode doesn't match usually if it does say um d0130 on the sweet smiles pretzels yogurt five ounce jackpot you know you got the right item okay and the really good thing about getting these penny lists so early and um you know today is saturday so we're all probably going to dollar general i know i am we can look for these items before tuesday see used to uh like a year ago we only got the penny list on monday nights so apparently whoever we're all getting the penny list from i think it's the same it's the same person, I'm pretty sure, because we're all getting it on the same day. Notice that. It's not, nobody's stealing it from each other, I don't think. I think that we're all getting the penny list from the same person, which is early. So if we all lose our connection, we're screwed, right? Um, but used to, we would have to wait until Monday night and we would get the list. And then Tuesday morning, you really had no idea what you were looking for. So now we all, as penny shoppers, can go look for these items in store before Tuesday, kind of compare pictures and what we found, and know exactly what we're looking for, right? I just don't get how it's a secret if employees know what I'm looking for. So um, just don't talk to the employees about it. I'm going to make a video why penny shopping is a secret because a lot of people don't understand that. I get so many comments like, if it's a secret, why are you talking about it on YouTube, dumbass? Um, and stuff like that. So understandably, I get those comments. I don't, if somebody comments that, I don't feel like they're, you know, being a troll or being mean. I think I would think the same thing, um, but I'm going to put that in a video and upload it for you guys so you understand why it's a secret and why we say that, okay? Um, because I think that's an, an important thing that we need to talk about, for sure. Uh, anyway, we quit talking about the penny list. Um, Lanc oh, Lancaster Vanilla, see, I don't know what that word is, Carmet. It may, maybe I spelled it wrong and it was caramel. I'll go back and double check. Peg bag, 2.9 ounce. Lemon head, chewy candy, theater box, 5 ounce. So if you find lemon head, uh, chewy candy, and it's in a 5 ounce box, most likely that's going to be a penny on Tuesday. By the way, if you, if I, I forgot to mention that. These, last week was an exception to the rule. If we get new penny items, that always does happen on a Tuesday. Sometimes they do penny early. But that almost never happens. So do not count on that happening. Do not, I would not, under no circumstances, go to the store and try to buy these items early just to see, um, you know, if it pennied early. If it pennied early, we will hear about it in the penny shopping community. Trust me. So I wouldn't waste my money like going and trying to buy these early. Tuesday morning, these items officially become a penny, and you don't have to shop for them just on Tuesday morning. You can shop for them on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever day you want. Eventually, they do reset and go back to full price, but usually, for the most part, um, it's a long time before they reset and go back to full price. Usually, 
if I had to give a amount of time, I can't give a specific amount of time, but if I had to give you like a rough estimate of how long items stay a penny, I would say about a year. Last year, I don't know what happened, but last year we had a few penny lists that we got and they reset back to full price within a week. So it is a possibility that that's going to happen. But the really good thing that we have a huge, you know, penny shopping community is that we all tell each other. You know, I went and bought the Lemonhead Chewy Candies in a theater box, five ounce, and they were full price. And so, you know, when everybody else starts reporting that, we know that they went back to full price. You should continue to broadcast the penny list, but you should stop explaining it to newcomers. No, I shouldn't, because what what would happen if I didn't explain it? Um, let me tell you, because I, I already know what would happen, because I've made that mistake. Um, and it's why I get upset. It's why I get upset when other people, like the Julie's free freebies guy or whatever his name is on YouTube also posting the penny list. If you guys have watched their videos, I commented on one of their videos and asked them, you know, because people see that when we make penny list videos that they get lots of views, right? Some of my penny shopping videos have gotten 70,000 views or more, you know, and then even on a weekly basis, these videos are pulling in like 20,000 views, which is huge in the money saving community. Not a lot of videos get that type of views, right? Um, but the problem is when you don't say, you know, penny shopping is a secret not to go in and ask the employees, the Dollar General employees are supposed to sell you these items. You get comments like this. And this is a real comment that I've gotten often on my videos. I called the Dollar General corporate office because I went into the store and there were no penny items for me to buy. Okay. So if the Dollar General corporate office gets flooded with calls about penny shopping, they're eventually just going to stop penny items altogether. And they have before. And and people who haven't been penny shopping for a long time, hence the Julie's Freebies guy, uh, don't know that. But they have stopped these items from going to a penny before. So if you just make the videos to get tons of views and you don't give the little disclaimer, then Dollar General is going to get flooded with calls and then we're all going to be screwed together, right? Nobody's going to get the views. Nobody's going to get penny items. Some people who watch my videos get penny items and that's what helps them feed and take care of their family. That's what helps them get uh, toys for Christmas for their kids. And I feel very strongly about this. And that's why I commented on their video and said, hey, if you're going to have a big net mouth, then and get the views, then you should at least give some type of of disclaimer of why it's important that we don't all run and call the corporate office when there's no penny items to buy because you're just going to, you know, screw us all over in the long run. So give the video a thumbs up and I'll make a video and I'll explain why I do that and I'll explain why we say penny shopping is a secret. And basically that's why, because we don't want to stop penny shopping. If you've been penny shopping for years, you know that a few years ago, Dollar General stopped these items from going to a penny altogether. We didn't get a penny list for nine months. Because once they get, like, why, why would they sell these items for a penny and lose profit and now they got to hire extra people to work at their customer service uh, phone lines or whatever to answer all of these questions, right? So, it, I mean, if we be respectful and responsible and then we can all get the views and then we can all benefit and then we can all buy penny items, it, that's way more beneficial for everyone. So when you see people who are posting the list on YouTube just to get views because believe your ass, that's why they're doing it because they pull in a lot of views, then you should comment and say, hey, you're being really irresponsible with your platform because you're going to screw us all over in the long run. And, and that's why I left the comment that I left. And I do believe, I don't watch their videos. I don't know if they've changed that. But I did, somebody sent me, a bunch of somebody sent me their video and was like, oh my God, I can't believe now this person is 
posting these videos and they're not mentioning anything about it so they're gonna ruin it for all of us I got a hundred people who sent me that video when they first posted the penny list like that so I commented on it and it doesn't make me a better bitch if they asked me for help to help them I would help them but I think you have to be responsible for your platform like you have to be responsible if you just you know put the information out there and don't give the disclaimer then it's going to ruin it for everyone and as I said some of my viewers that's how they get toys for their kids that's how they you know it helps them feed their family of course you solely couldn't feed your family off penny items but it does help and so why would we want to stop that just so we can get a lot of views right now you know all right I told you I felt very strongly about that give the video a thumbs up that's why, too, that penny items are available at all Dollar Generals. Whether you have a Dollar General market, no matter what state you live in, um, these are discontinued items that the Dollar General employees did not pull off the shelf for whatever reason. So you have to keep in mind that you might live in an area where the Dollar General employees do a really good job at pulling items off the shelf. You might live in an area where you have somebody who... Um, you know shops for penny items and is really good at it and maybe they're just beating you to the store and buying all of the items up and then you get there and you there are no penny items right I live um, kind of in a city it's a small city but there are a lot of Dollar Generals here and so in town there is like maybe seven Dollar Generals but if I go to the Dollar Generals that are outside of town like just outside of town, then usually I hit the jackpot because the penny shoppers don't go to those. They'll just go to the ones in town and that's it, right? So keep those things in mind. Like you might, um, it might be worth it for you to drive a little bit out of your way to the Dollar Generals that aren't so popular and see if, you know, nobody's shopping at them. And that's why we always say to go on Tuesday morning because um, you know, you might not have such great chances if you're only looking at this penny list and you're not looking at the past penny items, you're probably not going to have as good chances of finding these items if you go shopping on Friday, you know? Um, so if you can go on Tuesday morning, that is probably your best option. If you can't go on Tuesday morning, what I recommend that you do, and I don't mean to point my finger at you, but, um, I'm just talk with my hands. I'm sorry. I try, always try not to do that. Um, what I recommend that you do if you cannot go on a Tuesday is look for older penny items. And that's why I posted the cheat sheet um, the other day for the penny items for the rest of, you know, the, the beginning of the year for 2018. So you guys can look for those items as well. Because what happens, and I promise you this is what happens because I've been penny shopping for a long time, years, and when we go on vacation and stuff, I love penny shopping adventures. That's my favorite thing to do is just drive down the interstate and I'll have Jason like Google Dollar Generals in towns and we'll go sh stop at all of those Dollar Generals. What happens is, <coughs> excuse me. So let's say we've gotten this penny list and we got the penny list from last week. People learn about penny shopping, either they just learn about, about it or maybe even they're experienced penny shoppers, but they'll only shop like remember or uh, have the most recent penny list and they don't go back and shop the older penny items. So if you go back and look for the older penny items, you can have a lot of success that way. Um, and then a lot of the times, like Dollar General will hire new employees who are really good at p pulling penny items off the shelf, but they won't know about the past penny items. So if you look for the older penny items, you can have a lot of success that way. So if you're having trouble finding penny items, you know, that have just pennied in this recent lists that we have gotten, um, look for the older penny items and so what I've been doing on my website is uh, what I did is I deleted all of the old blog posts that I made about couponing but there are older penny lists up and I left those penny lists up so you could just go on my website and look at the older penny lists and shop from those or you can download the Dollar General Penny Finder app it's a one-time fee of $2.99 highly recommend that you try it 
There are a few people who say that they don't love the app, but the majority of the people do say that they do love the app. It's definitely worth $2.99 to figure out if it's for you or not. It might not. You might hate it. Um, I do have a lot of success with the app, so I think it's a great investment of $2.99, and it's a one-time fee. It's not like they charge you every month or anything like that. Just $2.99, that's it. Um, it's called Dollar General Penny Finder. It has a, The logo has a uh, orange P, so just go look for it in your app store. <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, there's a. I think I looked the other day and there was like 11,000 penny items on the app, if I remember correctly. So there's definitely a lot of items that you can look for. Marvetta just posted um, her little penny haul and she did really good. And she lives in the same area as I do. Sorry, Marvetta, if I tell you, I, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but she does. And she, I mean, she found penny items that I didn't find so see there you go they were all older ones too the rugs are in the penny list cheat sheet video that I did go back and watch that video that I posted yesterday it has the um, numbers for the rugs Did you look for the rugs, Marvetta? Did you look for those rugs, $14 rugs, in the video that I did yesterday? I put the rugs in the back of the video, and I know I maybe I shouldn't have done that because I know a lot of the times people don't make it all the way to the end of a video, but it is somewhat a short video. I think it was under 10 minutes long. I'm pretty sure it was under 10 minutes. So make sure you go check out those rugs because those were apparently a surprise penny. Um, and that's another, you know, good way to look for penny items when they're surprise pennies. That means that the Dollar General and Please didn't get a list for them. So they don't know to pull them off the shelf. So if you go look for them, chances are, you know, you're, you could find them. See, Cindy, I got four rugs. I watched to the end. Are you penny shopping today? I'm gonna go look for the rugs. I'm having trouble penny shopping because I don't have a car. Yeah, that's a, that puts a damper in it for sure. It really does um, help low income people for sure. I think that's why I feel so strongly about it is because, especially since doing YouTube, you know, so many of you tell me that you, that's how you get stuff for your family. And I know one year we had a really hard time at Christmas time and that if it were, were not for penny items, I would not have been able to get, you know, my kids stuff for Christmas and it made a huge difference in my life. So I can imagine. Um, our penny list regional we always do say your miles may vary and I've been penny shopping for years I don't know how long um, maybe five or six years and in those five or six years we've only had maybe ten penny lists that it happened in some areas and not others so we always do say that just in case that happens because basically, you know, how terrible would it be if I was like, this is the penny list and it only pennies in some areas, which I've done that on YouTube and I actually stopped posting the penny list for a while because that happened and I was like, I don't want people to be mad at me. Um, but only occasionally does that happen and it's a penny in Florida and not in West Virginia, you know? And so we always just say your miles may vary and that's basically just to cover our ass. You have to know as a penny shopper, there is a possibility that when you get up to the register, it's not going to be a penny. And another thing that we, we really haven't talked about and Mashal and Jay commented this on my video um, and I do want to put this in a video because it's so true. If an item is a penny when you get up to the register, it's going to ring up a penny. If it's not a penny, it won't ring up a penny. Period. 
like you can't ask the Dollar General employees for a price change. Like they're not gonna change it to a penny for you or anything like that. Either it rings up a penny or it doesn't. There are no mistakes. Like sometimes with couponing, we might have items that are supposed to be on sale for $4.95 and they ring up $5.95 and you know, we ask them to change the price. But it's not the same with penny items. Either it does ring up a penny or it doesn't, period, period. Yeah, um, the ones that I seen were all $14 rugs. I didn't see any runner rugs or I would have um, let you guys know. I have a thing for rugs. In certain areas, the store and shapes are dots. Key to look for, if so, what? Uh, yeah, no, not in certain areas. Watch the video that I posted yesterday. The video that I posted yesterday was the penny list cheat sheet. And I told you exactly what dots to go look for. No matter what area you live in. So go watch that video. I'll try to link it in the description box of this video. Um, if I remember to do that. But it's called... I think it's called Penny Shopping Cheat Sheet for 2018, and then it also says Penny Rugs. Oh my God, that's the title of the video. If you click on my name um, below this video, then you will go to my homepage on YouTube, and it will take you to my YouTube homepage, and you can... Um, watch my older videos which i recommend that you do hold on i'll repost the link in the chat for the penny list in case you guys weren't here earlier this link is going to take you directly to the google document um, of the penny list but you can also if you can't get back to that link just go to my website poweredbycoupons.com if you want to see what the rugs are just go watch the video that i posted yesterday i have the rugs the barcodes and everything in the penny list cheat sheet it says penny shopping cheat sheet 2018 that's the title of the video click on my name and go watch that video go to my youtube homepage and go watch that video what are white star? I haven't seen any white star. There's a white dot. Oh, there are some older white star toys. Is that what you mean? Um, there are some older white star toys that are like Star Wars toys. Those are a penny. I got your web page bookmarked. Yeah, good, good, good. That'll help you. I always post stuff on there. Um, there's an email list on there. I've been meaning to start uh, emailing you guys of important updates that you might not want to miss, like the um, penny list, but I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Any idea when the baby clothes will penny? It doesn't really work like that. It doesn't go in just baby clothes. Um, what will happen is we're going out of summer into winter, right? So all the summer clothes are going to penny, right? So here's what I do. I have a closet that you guys cannot see, and it's a friggin' mess in here. I'd show you my closet. One day I will. Anyway, what I do is um, summer ends and we go into winter and all the summer stuff pennies. So last year when that happened, I went and got 200 summer clothing items. And that's what's in my closet right now. There's 200 clothes in there, clothing items with tags on them from Dollar General. Um, I can't fit not one more thing in that stupid closet. And then uh, when we get our winter stuff and it pennies, I just rotate my stuff out of my closet, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, but it's certain colored dots. Like, a whole section of the store is never going to penny. Like, that's never going to happen. Like, all of the um, women's clothing is not going to penny at one time, you know? 
Yeah, I don't know if y'all were watching. I think I posted a video. Yeah, we made videos about it on YouTube. Um, if you go back and watch my older videos, some of them are on my website. We got like 200 clothing items for a penny. And they're, um, some of them are pretty nice clothes. I, I wear some of them sometimes. Those of you who penny shop then always say that's a penny shirt or whatever. It's funny. You should donate. I do. I mean, for sure. I donate them. I've sold them. Um, some of them I've saved for family. I've given some of them away. Some of them are like our, what happened was, um, last year when the spring stuff pennied, I got a bunch of spring stuff. So what I do is usually I keep all the stuff that would fit my family and then do get rid of the rest of it. But when summer come, like my son had 10 pairs of basketball shorts that fit him that were a penny, you know? And so then when the next season pennies, I get all that stuff out of the closet and we use it. And then I, the next season, I'll fill it back up. And we just rotate stuff in the closet. And it, wor it really works out. Some of this stuff I used, um, like, for fabric to sew things. And just random stuff that I do with it. But I do donate plenty. Somebody says it sucks when you want a penny shop, but the workers got better at pulling stuff off the shelf. Well, when I first moved back here from Tennessee, it was really hard to find penny items because the people who had worked at the Dollar Generals were really good at pulling it off the shelf. I finally discovered that it wasn't another penny shopper. Like, legit, they were just really good at pulling stuff off the shelf. But um, whatever happened... Now, the Dollar Generals all in my area all have new employees, and none of them are really good at pulling items off the shelf. So, it's like jackpot every time something pennies. Um, but eventually, those people will probably work at Dollar General for a while, and they'll be really good at pulling stuff off the shelf. So, it'll probably be shitty for me for a while. Um, but eventually, those people will quit, and they'll get all new employees who have no idea what they're doing, and it'll be really good for me. You know what I mean? Um, and... It's that way with penny shopping. You got to take the good with the bad. That's why I always tell you guys to go outside of your area and penny shop because that can be really beneficial, especially if in your area uh, people are really good at pulling stuff off the shelves. I literally used to penny shop every day of my life, every single day. And I found stuff every single day. So it is totally possible, especially if you're willing to drive outside of your immediate area. You just have to kind of learn, you know, about your area and how many Dollar Generals there are. I would like Google a certain little region of my area and try to make myself a little map of how I could go to, you know, many different Dollar Generals and in, in a like a little circle and save on gas and stuff. Obviously, you don't want to spend tons of money on gas and stuff. But depending on what the items are, like if you're getting home stuff like comforters and rugs and um, stuff like that, it's worth spending a little bit of gas money to go get those types of things, even if you have to drive a little bit further, you know? I don't know. Give the video a thumbs up, guys. I got to go to Dollar General, which is why I decided to just do this video live because I always like to give you guys the list as soon as possible so you can look for the items in store. If you guys do find any of the items and you want to send me a picture of the items with the barcode, you can do that. My email is Krista Ramsey, the number six at gmail.com. You can, you know, if you find something that you think are Sweet Smiles covered pretzels are in a brown bag in clearance. So if you go and you see those Sweet Smiles, take a picture of them and the, a picture of the barcode and email it to me. That's helpful. You could help everybody else. Um, I am going to go look for these items and try to post a video of what the items look like. But the problem is not all stores sell all of the items. So my stores might not have all of them, you know. Um, but I'll make a video like that if I can find enough items to put in a video. I'll make that and, and make a video about it so you guys can see, okay? Thank you, Susan. All right, so give the video a thumbs up and... Uh, it's... I've, oh, let me put it in the chat for you again. 
It's also on my website. My website is poweredbycoupons.com and I just put the link in the chat. And this will take you, that won't take you to my website. It'll take you to the Google Doc and you can just print it off. It's posted on my website, which is poweredbycoupons.com. Okay? Yes, Nadia, I'm for real live, but I'm leaving. Do you have something to ask? The rugs, I have the rugs posted. If you go watch my last video that I did about penny shopping, it's called Penny Shopping Cheat Sheet for 2018. So underneath this video, you see my name. It says Krista Coupons. Click on my name and it'll take you to my YouTube homepage and you can see all of my older videos. Um, I posted that video yesterday. It's got a cheat sheet for you that will help you penny shop tremendously. And then it's also got the rugs and the barcodes of the rugs um, and what you need to get the rugs, okay? The rugs apparently were not on a penny list, so you could have a lot of chances of finding those rugs. Go watch that video. Penny shopping is nationwide at Dollar General's, whether it be a uh, Dollar General market or just a regular Dollar General. I finally got to meet you. <laughs> Thank you for doing this for us. You're so welcome. Thank you guys for watching. If you really want to thank me, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, Jessica said. Yes, I tried it, a toy. And they had put a sticker on the item that says it was not a penny. What? Did you take a picture of it? Maybe it was a penny and they put a sticker on it that said it's not a penny so they know to type in the price at the register. Don't ever let them type in a, in a price. Where does the list come from? The list is leaked by the Dollar General employees. I have a Dollar General employee who leaks the list to me. They steal the list basically and give it to me. Okay? So obviously the only way to get the list, people ask me that in every video that we talk about. Um, if you saw the discovery alarm clocks and they were not a penny, I guarantee you, 100% guarantee you that they had a blue dot on them. And see, that's why penny shopping is so, uh, it's important to get all of the information, not just a little bit, because the discovery alarm clocks that do not have a blue dot are a penny. The ones that don't, that have a blue dot are not a penny. So you, you really have to pay attention to detail in order to know that. Thank you, employee. No kidding. All right, is there a printable list of old penny lists? Yes, on my website, poweredbycoupons.com. If you go to my website, there's blog posts all down the page. You can just scroll around and go to those old penny lists for sure. That's I leave those on my website for you guys to do that. And I'm kind of working on something for you guys to make it easier for you to do that. Just. When will you go live again? I always go live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but throughout the week, sometimes randomly, I just go live. Uh, I don't know. But always every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So I don't know what time zone you live in, but... Yeah, one had a blue dot, but didn't. Everything is not entered into the app. Something that you have to remember about the app is that if other people don't, like if you buy a penny item and it's not in the app, you have to add it into the app so other people will know it's a penny. The app only works if we as a community all participate, you know? Um, so occasionally you might find an item that is a penny that's not entered into the app. So keep that in mind. But for the most part, 
the app is always right. There are some times that I thought some things were opinion. I went against the app, and the app was right, and I was wrong. So, you know, take that as you want. <coughs> do you do other stores? Sometimes, but honestly, with Dollar General couponing and penny shopping, keeps me pretty busy. Uh, but sometimes I do other stores. I've been wanting to do more Walmart couponing. <laughs> it's awesome how you keep reading my comments. I try to read them all, but it's impossible to do that. Uh, this Tuesday app, this Tuesday app said Penny, and it was wrong. Deborah Osgood. Uh, Deborah, yeah, sometimes that does happen. Do all seasonal items penny and is it all at the same time? Um, usually they penny out. Like, if you watch that uh, cheat sheet video that I did yesterday, the penny shopping cheat sheet for 2018, I tried to explain that in the video. Um, penny shopping is kind of hard to explain, I think. But anyway... All seasonal items that have a dot on them, or a star, or a triangle, or whatever you want to call it, dotted items we call those, whether it's a triangle or whatever, um, all of those eventually do penny, and usually they do penny out with their same color and shape, but like the purple dot that pennied and the, and the pillows were excluded, sometimes there are, you know, uh, things that are excluded. The only way to know that is to watch my videos. If you guys watched my purple dot uh, when I gave the penny list and it was Blue Star Toys and Purple Dot, in that video, I showed you a picture of the pillows that were not going to be included. And so you had to watch the video to know that. I will come in and all your old videos if you tell me how. I will come in and all your old. If you click on my videos and then click out, it hurts me. You have to actually watch the video. But if you click on my name beneath this video, it'll take you to my YouTube homepage and you can see all of my old videos. My little brother said Krista Coupons is live. I watched that one, it's just very overwhelming. Yeah. It takes a while. It's not easy. It's going to take you some time to figure it out. The numbers on the list are the last four numbers of the barcode. I do not always... I missed a question. I do not always go by the barcode. I've been watching some of the ads too. Does that help you? Yes. Don't watch it if it's a 15 minute ad though. If you go to my website, which is poweredbycoupons.com, and you scroll down, like, wait a minute for it to load. It does take a minute to load because I have a lot of, like, back information on there. And I know that's annoying. Next time, I paid for my website for a year. Next time, I'm going to probably go with another company to see if it'll go faster. But go to my website, poweredbycoupons.com. Wait for it to load. So, just wait a minute. And then scroll down the page, right? And you'll start to see my blog posts. And it'll say, like, one off if you scroll down the page you'll start to see penny list for whatever day penny list for whatever day and if you click on it it makes it big you know um, and then you can just usually I put a printable document at the bottom of each blog post so this whatever I write on my website I put it on a Google Doc and you can print right from the website you can just go to print from the website but a lot of you like to do it from a Google Doc and that's fine um, so anyway I just copy and paste it, so it's not a big deal. 
but um, you can just go through the old penny list. Just scroll through my website. Go to my website and just scroll down the page. You'll see them, I promise. For something to be a penny, does it have to be from 2017? No. In fact, if you find something in a store and it says 2017, do not assume that it is a penny. Watch the video that I did yesterday. Do you PC code the last four numbers? Is that including the last tiny number? Uh, no. It doesn't include the last tiny number. I don't think so. That's what's on the Dollar General employee uh, penny list. I just copied it from that. I don't think it includes, there's usually like an eight or something at the end that's little. I think that's what you're talking about. I don't think it includes that number, no. We put a freeze on the, um, Julie, we put a freeze. Okay, so we have a Facebook group and it's called Powered by Pennies. And then I'm ending this video because we've been going forever. I'll talk for three hours if you let me. So, um, we have a Facebook group. It's called Powered by Pennies, okay? I opened up this group and we got thousands of members really quickly. And so, we're having a problem with people like, like not reading the rules and posting links from other places and sharing other people's penny lists, which who knows if they're right or wrong, you know what I mean? Um, and so, I froze the members. Nobody's getting in. Uh, and we're just going to clean out the group and then I'll start letting people in again. And this time we're going to let everybody in all, all at the same time so we can make sure that they read the rules. There's not a lot of rules in there other than don't post outside links and simple stuff. I don't know why people are having such a hard time following the rules. It's really annoying, um, honestly. But I'll, I'll let you guys in soon if you've requested to join. Don't think I declined you just if, in, if you haven't been accepted. Okay, because I didn't, um, I pro chances are I didn't, I only don't accept people, like if you work at Dollar General or um, you are from another country or something like that because they don't have Dollar Generals in other countries. So why would you want to join my group if you live in Cuba? I don't know, but you're not. <laughs> I gotta go. Sorry, Bob. Bye, bye, Jessica. All right. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Thank you, Viola. There's the Google Doc wink again. Do you find food pennies out because it's close, yes, to the expiration, yes. They usually penny out right before expiration. And I don't know, we need to find out if this is true or not, because I honestly never thought about it until we started talking about penny items a lot on YouTube and you guys kind of brought it up. If it's expired food item, I don't think that they have to sell it to you. But we need to find that out for sure. I think it's illegal to sell expired food items. But I might be wrong. But people keep asking me that. And I'm not sure. That damn gnat is driving me crazy. How do you find penny items? You look at the penny list. And on Tuesday you go look for the exact items on the penny list. Okay. I have lots of beginner uh, videos for penny shoppers on my website, poweredbycoupons.com. Go to How to Penny Shop at Dollar General. They can refuse to sell expired. It means it happens to me all the time. Okay, bye guys. Give the video a thumbs up. I've posted it in the chat several times. I'll post it one more time. It's also on my website. If you go to poweredbycoupons.com and scroll down the page, you will see where it says Dollar General Penny List for August 21st, 2018. You can click on that 
and look at it there. But there's the link to the Google document. Um, you can go there or you can go to my website and just print it off from my website. If you can't find the link to the Google Doc, just go to my, like, Monday, Tuesday, go to my website. And it'll always be on my website. Okay? Give the video a thumbs up. And have a good day. Bye, guys.